Hi everybody! Today we're gonna test how efficient the BB21 blower is. And we're gonna do it in the most scientific way that is accessible to me, which is by using digital anemometer. And we're also gonna test how loud it is by using sound level meter. So without further ado, let's get into it. Safety first. And first thing we're gonna test is the speed. Promise speed on the website is 49.7 miles per hour. Very bold statement for the size of the device. And we're also gonna test canned air and see how it compares to this device. This thing is really getting in the way. And we have the anemometer set up right here. I'm gonna try to blow the air directly into the propeller for us to get the most accurate read possible with these conditions. As you can see, we only got up to 36.9, give or take. And only because I started to aim the device towards the flow, towards the direction of the turbine. And why is that? Why it's not 49.7? It's obviously because testing conditions are always different and conditions I'm testing in are not, probably not proper for wind testing. And also they might have tested it inside the tube, inside this nozzle, they just put the test their meter inside the nozzle and got to 49.7, which makes sense for testing. But when we actually use the device, we use it, we don't use it like super close to the camera, to the lens. We try to keep the distance, not to scratch the lens, just to blow off the dust. So realistically, what you're gonna get while cleaning your devices is probably 20 to 30 miles per hour. Given the distance from the device to your lens or your camera is gonna be around six inches. And now let's see how Kent Air performs in the wind speed test. Thirty-seven point two. Interesting. Kent Air has a diameter of like one millimeter, maybe even less. So the air is compressed the whole way from the can through the nozzle up until it comes out at the very tip. So to compare those two devices, there's two things. First thing is consistency. While this device has a turbine that spins at a consistent speed, as long as you have your battery charged, obviously, while the canned air speed is gonna decrease drastically for as long as you hold it. And the second thing is impact. Canned air has the bigger impact of the airflow because it just punches you with air, which is kind of what you want when you clean your devices. You just want a short impact of airflow that's gonna blow the dust off. While with BB21, it needs to get up to speed for it to perform the 36 or 49 miles per hour. So you're losing the initial impact of the airflow. It's gonna clean probably 80% of the dust when you just press on this. And now let's test how loud they are. We're gonna start with BB21 and I'm gonna test all three modes just to see if you need to operate in quiet conditions, you still can or not. We're gonna be staying approximately six inches away from the sensor to get the most accurate reading, same way we're gonna stay with the canned air. We're getting 89.1 on the highest setting. Next, we're gonna test the medium power mode. 83.7, and the slowest mode this device has, which is called the quiet mode. 89.1 That is pretty quiet. I can even talk through this. And now let's test how loud the canned air is. 89.1 So we got to around 86, which is pretty much the same as this thing in turbo mode. Even though this thing goes up to 86 decibels, it still feels quieter because it's, first of all, it's different frequency that it, this thing operates in and it feels like white noise. So given the test, and it's the most scientific we could get, obviously, we got the lab code, we got the goggles, we tested both of them and both showed similar results. 
So if you're working on local project or if you're driving to the project, I would highly suggest getting this. But if you have a project that's overseas or you need to take a plane, this is a very good thing to have because it's always with you. It's very compact, it fits in your pocket, you know? And it might not be as powerful on the impact, but it still gives you the same 35, 36 miles per hour. But if you really need to get dust off of something really big, I really recommend getting Dewalt Brushless Lear Blower. This thing is loud as a jet. It goes to 125 miles per hour. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell button to get notified. And I'll see you in the next one.